Hello folks, tonight I am going after Pickering's Triangle, and it's that area of nebulosity that's in between the East Vale and the West Vale, and I had already captured the East and West Vale, but I never really got that detailed area in between, so that's what I'm doing tonight. And I'm doing oxygen right now, but I've already captured about ten and a half hours of HA on it. And I see a lot of people do HA and oxygen on this target, so that's what I'm doing too. And right now I'm doing um, four-minute exposures at gain 75 and offset 15, and the mean readout is 806. It seems like a clear night out there. Now let's take a look at one raw image. And there it is. You can't really see much of it, but when I have everything stacked, I think it's going to look really cool. So we'll have to see. And um, I'll be back. All right, so let's take a look at my guiding. Guiding has not been cooperating tonight. And I have a feeling I screwed something up with the balance. I was changing some things around, trying, some, trying to scoot my mount a little bit forward to keep it away from that long ref to keep that long refractor away from the tripod legs because I still bang into my tripod legs once in a while. And I have a feeling when I mess with it I screwed the balance up. So tomorrow I gotta recheck the balance. Because I was guiding much better on this target the day before and now it's 1.16. That's that's horrible. I should definitely be in the 0.7 or 0.8 range at least. Ugh. But you know what? Let's take a look at my start right now. Yeah, I think they're okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fret too much over this. So we'll see. I'll be back. Okay, I am done capturing data and I ended up with over ten hours of HA and somewhere over eight hours of oxygen. I didn't add it all up yet. And this is what my data looks like after I've already um, stacked, cropped, aligned it, um, and run a histogram on it. I did quite a bit on this data. And um, at, I didn't run any background extraction on HA, but for oxygen as usual, I always have brightness on the sides here. So I actually ran a dynamic background extraction and then an automatic background extraction, and then a histogram, and that, that really does smooth it out for me. So this is what the data I had uh, uh, I had to work with. And um, I think it's enough, you know, over 18 hours of data, it should be enough, even with a slow telescope like mine. I think my focal ratio is only around uh, 7.5. That's pretty slow. So... This is what my combine looks like. I use the SHO AIP script and I put HA 100% in red and I put oxygen 100% in green and 100% in blue. And if you want to see how I use that SHO AIP script, um, just go look at my monkey head video because what I did there, I did the exact same thing for this object. And this is what I ended up with as my combine. And right after I did that combine, um, let's see, I did uh, I did another automatic background extraction and an SCNR to get rid of that that green, and that's what it looks after after that. And then um, I ran some denoise on it, and and that was it. That was it as far as Pixinsight was concerned. I, I headed over to Photoshop. And I got a phone call. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. I swear my brother has a knack for calling me at the worst possible time. Never fails with him. So, anyway, um, I headed over to Photoshop, and this is what I've got. What do you think? Uh, let's see. Um, that was where I left off in Pixinsight, and this is where I resumed in Photoshop. That's pretty much what I expected. I'm happy enough with this. I, I think I'll just uh, post this on Astrobin and uh, Facebook and wrap it up. Um, 
I admit I did not spend a lot of time on this. I, I went rather quickly. Maybe I could have made it a little more sharp, but I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it as is. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm, I'm satisfied, and I think I'm going to send this to a, get a metal print for it. And let me show you one more thing. This is what I did last year. This is the East Bale. And last year, I thought I was going to capture Pickering's Triangle. And when I used a Framing and Mosaic Wizard, I actually selected the wrong area, and I ended up capturing one end of the East Vale Nebula. And, you know, after the first frame came through, I, I realized, oops, that's not what I wanted. But I thought, you know what, I'll just go ahead and capture this area anyway. It looks pretty cool. And, and what happened? This object on the right here, the East Vale Nebula, turned out to be my first image of the day. You know, a total accident. You know what? I guess that's what it took, a fluke, to get me over that hump to get me an image of the day. I, I just thought that that was so funny. It's something I didn't even intend to capture. But maybe that's why. Not a lot of people focus in on this area here, one end of it anyway. I, I guess that's what it took. Anyway, that's all I've got to share, folks. I will see you later. Hey, I just said I will see you later, but I'm not ready to leave yet. I just wanted to say I didn't do anything special in Photoshop that couldn't have been done in PixInsight. So if you don't have Photoshop, don't worry about it. PixInsight could have done anything I did in Photoshop. All I did was really um, I adjusted the contrast, which could have been done with curves, and I increased the saturation and uh, maybe the vibrance of it a little bit. I mean, all that can be done with curves. Or, or, or probably some other tools and pics and sites. So, yeah, I, I'm just trying to learn Photoshop a little bit more, so I kind of share duty now between pics and site and Photoshop. I just wanted to say that in case, you know, in case you just want to stick with pics and site. Now that's all I've got to, to share, and I will see you later. Mm -hmm.